like to call this new product the ultimate body machine and we will uh, uh, show you what we mean by that. So we made our, fat, our feet wet in, in this uh, segment with the Azimuth 40 four years ago to see how the market would have reacted for Azimuth Yachts to introduce uh, a, a, an outboard center console, if you wish. And uh, actually it did extremely well. Uh, the market reacted very promisingly and we sold over 40 units in four years. So we decided now to step up to the game and uh, uh, you know, play in a harder way with this brand new 47. Uh, we would like to start probably from the transom because it's fairly impressive. The propulsion package we choose is the Mercury Racing Division 450 horsepower V8, an incredible motor and uh, was the natural choice for this model. Double step hull by Michael Peters and the propulsion by Mercury Racing. We sea trialed the boat uh, in Italy last December incredible performance it rides extremely smooth of course everything is uh, able to go very fast on a straight line as long as there is power behind the hull cut through the water like a knife into butter and the turning radios are simply amazingly sharp tight and precise so as i said propulsion package and hull are fully american michael peters and mercury racing for the propulsion while the interior exterior design is fully italian so francesco strulia design uh, young, uh, uh, talented designer and everything uh, uh, directed as an orchestra by Azimut Yachts to produce the ultimate boating machine. This boat is really designed to enjoy boating to the next level and you can see uh, for instance 47 feet look at the size of this cockpit you have uh, of course an L-shaped sofa and we wanted to give the cockpit the most possible versatility so this is of course is a flush table on deck which uh, can be uh, movimented electrically in basically in three positions. This is uh, of course the lower position where it provides ample uh, space for the entire cockpit to be used, including the access to this incredibly spacious uh, swing platform for very easy access to the water. Of course, as an integrated uh, boarding ladder into the platform. So if you see the amount of space you have here to really enjoy boating, and uh, uh, diving, uh, spare fishing, uh, just playing with the kids, going in and out of the water with the sea bobs and paddle boards. Think about boarding a paddle board from here. It's just a natural step in the water. Then the second position is actually you raise the table approximately to this height. It comes with a filler and now this entire area becomes a, a huge aft sunbathing lounge. And the third option instead, of course, is to bring it all the way up. It comes with a, uh, a proper cover because, of course, you don't want to dine where you have been walking a few minutes before. So there is a, a cover which goes on top seamlessly on the table to provide a, a clean new surface. And, of course, provide a fresco dining which can be in the shade thanks to the sure shade awning which is fully integrated into the hardtop so you is invisible when it's not out but then you extend it out for a perfect alfresco dining if we move uh, forward a little bit we wanted to separate the cockpit from the helm station which we will see with a, a beautiful island uh, which provide uh, an amazing amount of entertainment so by looking at it the first hatch hosts a cooktop canyon cooktop all the exterior uh, cooking appliances are all canyon. Then you open your second hatch and you have a double canyon barbecue. And then you step to your third hatch and you have a full water sink. You might wonder what is this? This is the water source for your ice maker, which is right under the sink. Next to the ice maker, you have a full size drawer refrigerator for all your cold ones. And of course, very ample storage for a trash bin and uh, uh, whatever else uh, you might need. So again, a full outdoor country kitchen where of course you can miss entertaining. So uh, this panel that you see here is actually an ILO for a television. So you have a television coming out. So this is a, an outdoor kitchen with also a media entertainment station. And once it's not in use, of course the Italian design come into place, everything disappears, beautiful, smooth, nice. Storage everywhere, so on the deck there, this is a, a very large storage. You have storage on the sides here, storage on the side here. And now we're going to the heart 
of the Azimut uh, Yacht uh, Verve 47, which is the helm station. We wanted to provide this boat with very sport looking, wrapping, <coughs> custom uh, helm seats. So these are proprietary for the Azimut 47 Verve. No other model share this uh, seating. The center is adjustable, height and uh, longitudinal movement. And the feature of the helm is actually the feature of the boat from a design standpoint, which is this side window, which uh, Francesco Struglia introduced, and uh, you will see it on the side of the boat. It creates a design flow, a design motive, so has has, has multiple functions. Of course, uh, the first one is design, but then you have a, a very cool factor. Let me tell you, when you when you ride this boat at 53, at 53 knots, uh, under in, in the water, I mean, looking at the, the speed at which the water flows in these windows, again, you're sitting here driving the boat and from both sides, you can see the water running at 50 knots is something that I've never experienced in my life, it was just incredible. And last but not least, thanks to this amazing Mercury joystick maneuvering system, the maneuverability of the boat is just impressive. The side, you can move this boat sideways, seamless. And uh, when you are at the helm, you don't really need to move. When you are approaching a dock or any other object, you just look through the window at the dock you are approaching and through the joystick you can maneuver and put the boat inches from the dock all by yourself by looking through the window. So again, it's a very design feature, but also with a, with a, with a significant and technical aspect to it. Into the helm, we wanted to design Again, the most seamless um, helm possible. So uh, if you wish a car, uh, sports car inspired, so it's a really a floating panel, which incorporated three 16 inches Raymarine Axiom display, which of course provide you all your navigation data, as well as uh, the digital switching and the monitoring system of the boat. So you can control the entire boat from each one of uh, these uh, plotters. Of course, we provided uh, the boat with full air conditioning in the helm station. So you have a dedicated unit for the helm station, which blow air from these vents, as well as from all those vents up front, which under the windshield. Again, we talk about the propulsion package. So Mercury, this joystick is incredible. I was blown away when I tried this joystick. So I really highly recommend. This is a boat which needs to be tried. It's, it's really pure adrenaline and gives you that feeling when you try it. And so if we go forward, there's also something very interesting is that we decided to go for what we call an asymmetric design in order to provide the bow with this incredible uh, lounging area. So again, we are in 47 feet and we have a full sunbathing area, three people, uh, adjustable backrest, cup holders everywhere, handrails everywhere. So just again, how much is uh, the, the two cultures are mixing together. And access the bow from the port side fully and from the starboard side you get to this point right here and where you will have to cross and walk across the sofa. But that was the compromise and way to provide this full wraparound sofa, uh, which of course has a full entertainment so you have your audio video system, you have a full refrigerator for your cold ones also here, God forbid, you need to move to the cockpit to get a drink. And uh, dedicated fusion control in the bow area. And of course, last but not least, uh, carbon fiber poles for this uh, custom-made awning in case uh, you would like to be in the shade rather than in the sun. Of course, before I forget, while you were walking on it, those two pins are designed to host a, a carbon fiber base for a carbon fiber table. So there is also a little table which comes to this area for your drink or just rest your feet when you're sitting on the sofa. This is where the product is really distinguished from whatever else is available on the market. Like we did with the 40 Verb, the 47 has the feature of Azimut Yacht's DNA. So it's design oriented, is a cozy, uh, luxurious home at sea and uh, so we are here in the dinette where you have uh, an L-shaped -L sofa with beautiful Italian fabric wrap this table of course goes down 
and is provided with a filler. So in case this area want to be converted into an extra bed or simply you want the table down, a filler in and watch a movie in a, in a comfortable uh, environment, either because outside is hot, so full air conditioning down below, or because outside is cold, so full heat uh, down below. You can lower the table and have a, a lounging area. Talking about a TV, look at the, the incredible job that the designer did. This is a beautiful, seamless mirror, and the TV is also behind. So you don't see the ugly appliances again, but uh, you, you see it only when you turn it on. Of course, you project the image through the, through the mirror. But look at this. This looks uh, to me like a, 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 a galley in, in, uh, in a brand new uh, studio in Manhattan of the ultimate design of those amazing buildings. So everything is uh, uh, lacquer with metallic paint for all the storage and you have uh, all your appliances that you need. You have your cooktop, remember there's another one outside, so you have two cooktops cook on board. You have uh, your convention oven, microwave and convention, and of course ample storage with your drawers for your um, silverware, storage on the side of the sink again, and uh, storage compartments here, bottle holders there, so you have plenty of storage, and of course you might wonder where are the refrigerator, they're right here. So again, this is a 50 plus, plus, 50 plus knots boat, so everything has a little bit extra, as you can see, uh, device to hold things close at speed, but this is your full refrigeration system, comfortable drawers, and we place them here because they are both comfortable to be open from the dinette area in the galley, as well as from the top. If you come down, you just put your hand down here, grab whatever you grab and go outside. This is your electrical panel, conveniently located. All your control, AC, DC, generator, start and stop, everything is in one spot. Easy to use, easy to handle. Everything, of course, labeled. And, uh, and this is your ignition panel. We didn't want to have all those uh, keys hanging in the cockpit, so you have uh, your main fusion head control there as well as your ignition panel. We have a Bowmaster full dedicated cabin, beautiful large bed, natural ventilation and natural light in the master cabin, plenty of storage on both sides, shelf on this side and hanging bar on the other side. We have plenty of storage under the bed. Now our beautiful decorator put all this uh, beautiful stuff on the bed. I don't want to mess it up, but uh, uh, of course there is a, a, a hook there. You lift it up and the entire bed lift up is full of storage. And uh, of course you have a dedicated audio video, dedicated air conditioning. So this is a full independent cabin uh, with, a, with a, a real door that can be separated from the rest of the boat. So typically even on this size of boat, uh, uh, competitors tend to have their open layout with the V sofa and the table which goes down. This, this feature actually two fully independent cabin. This is your aft cabin, which uh, believe it or not, actually, you know what, it's worth it for me to go there because uh, I don't want to give the feeling that it's small or uncomfortable. So you have this passage. Once you come here, you sit down, over there, the ceiling actually increases in height. So now I have much more height here. And uh, this is actually the cabin that I personally will take to sleep. Full beam in the aft. I mean, this cabin is absolutely comfortable. We designed this piece to be padded and the, the boat comes a standard with a filler, which is in this big closet here. And you can put a filler here and this being padded, now the entire area becomes an immense bed. You have your own TV, freezing cold air conditioning right now. So really, this is a, a really comfortable cabin for, for adults as well. Of course, it would be perfect for children. And I would see this boat with a, with, a, with a couple, with a couple of kids, mom and dad in the front and the kids in the back. But don't underestimate this cabin. If you go on the Verve 47, make sure that you come in. You don't just look from the door. Make sure that you come in. Feel free to lay on the bed because once you're here, the amount of space, you don't feel at all constricted. And uh, the designer provided natural light and natural ventilation. So you have a portal right there, which you can open and get air and light. And all these come from the cockpit. So this is all natural light again to give, to don't give the feeling of being, uh, uh, you know, 
uh, obstructed. And of course, natural light on the other side with the portal that you see also from the hall. So sorry if I spent a little time on this cabin, but I'm a big fan. Uh, from the first time I get into it, I said, wow, this cabin is really something. And uh, last but not least, the head. Extremely important part of every boat. We all need it and use it. And uh, fully enclosed shower. And I would like to show you uh, something in the shower because it's something that we design with purpose and uh, it's gonna be appreciated because again all devices to hold everything in place in navigation but folding a bench into the shower close secure it in position and will not move full-size Tecma toilet full-size sink ample storage in every corner ample storage on the ground and uh, of course last but not least wine cooler wouldn't be an italian as in what you boat without a wine cooler so uh, integrated wine cooler very clever usage of space and uh, so the entire sofa while we are here uh, of course is a storage so under each uh, pillow is uh, an openable hatch to store uh, components excuse me, equipment or whatever you want to bring with you when you're boating. You have storage, you see every, every volume is a storage. We actually provide uh, also this mechanism actually open, slides into there to provide a better, for people that maybe prefer to be a little bit higher when they drive the boat, I actually can show you. Very easy. This actually slide into that pocket, and now you have a raised floor to maneuver. And while I'm here, actually, natural ventilation. We wanted to provide this hatch counterfacing the wind in order to provide natural ventilation to the driver in addition to the air conditioning we discussed before. Of course, a full audio system. This is your Mercury Vessel View panel. So all your engine uh, alarms, and pop-ups can be seen here while the main engine data can be seen on any of the Raymarine uh, display. I think we have shown it uh, all and I hope you enjoy it.